hi everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video we will be making a delicious sorrel cake recipe remember for all the ingredients and measurements it will be listed down below in the description box now here is what you will need let's get started Now for ingredients, you'll need some all-purpose flour, eggs, I have some mixed essence, light brown sugar, and in this square container, I have some nutmeg, salt, and ginger powder. I also have here some orange zest, and in this little container, I have some baking powder. I also have here two sticks of salted butter, and over here I have my sorrel fruit mix, which I will leave the link on how to make this sorrel fruit. It will be down in the description box below this video, so you can check that out. Now to get started, I am going to add my two sticks of butter to a large mixing bowl. You want to make sure that all your ingredients are at room temperature. Now I'm going to go in with my sugar and we are going to start creaming our butter and sugar. Today I will be using my hand mixer. You can use a stand mixer for this step as well. Now you're going to start creaming your butter and your sugar. You are going to mix it until the butter and the sugar becomes light and fluffy. You will also notice that the color will change to a lighter color. After the color changes, that will be a good indication that you are ready to go in with your eggs. Remember, the sugar does not have to be fully melted before adding in the eggs. Actually, adding in the eggs will help the sugar to melt faster and speed the process up a bit. Now after everything is nicely creamed, you're going to go in with one egg at a time. You're going to make sure that that egg is fully incorporated and evenly distributed before adding in the second egg. You will do so until you finish adding all the eggs to the mixture. You want to make sure to scrape the bowl down from time to time to ensure that everything has been nicely mixed. Now, after adding all my eggs, this is how my batter is looking. Now, I'm going to go in with my essence and I'm also going to go in with all of my spices, followed by my orange zest. Now, you want to give that a good mix to ensure that everything is nicely distributed. Once everything is nicely distributed, you are going to go in with your sorrel fruit mix. Now you're going to go in with your hand mixer and you're going to mix to make sure that the fruits is evenly distributed. One ingredient I forgot to mention you will need is some food coloring, which is optional. I am just adding it for a pop of color for presentation purpose. If you don't want to add it, you don't have to. It will not change the recipe taste in any way. Now you can add any amount that you like. Of course, I'm going to leave the exact amount I use in the description box. Now, after adding the color to the cake, this is how it should be looking. Now, we're going to place that to the side and we are going to go ahead and combine the flour and the baking powder together. Now, with a hand strainer, you're going to sift in half of the amount of the flour and then we're going to go in with our spatula and we're going to mix to make sure everything is nicely combined. After everything is nicely combined, we're going to go in with the second half of our flour. We are going to continue mixing to make sure that all the flour is evenly distributed and there is no more lumps. Now 
Now to ensure that everything is nicely distributed, I'm going to go in with my hand mixer. I'm going to mix for about a minute or so. You want to try not to over mix the cake in this step, otherwise it will activate the gluten which will cause the cake to become dry and crumbly. Now after you're done mixing your cake batter, this is how it should be looking. We are now going to place this to the side and we are going to preheat our oven to 340 degrees. And while our oven is coming up to temperature, we are going to prepare our cake pan. Today I'm going to be using a 9 inch springform pan, which I've lined with a piece of parchment paper. I'm then going to spray my pan with some cooking spray. Then I'm going to take a brush and I'm going to make sure that the oil or the spray is evenly distributed on the bottom and on the sides of the pan. Now after the oil is nicely distributed, I'm going to go in with some flour and we are going to dust the flour on the bottom and on the sides of the pan. You want to make sure that the entire pan is coated evenly with that dry flour. You're then going to add the batter to your pan and just so you know that this batter will only give you one 9 inch cake. If you would like more than one cake, you can go ahead and double the ingredients. Now all you want to do is with your spatula, just smooth the top out so that the cake can be level. After everything is nice and level, you're going to just give it a gentle top on your counter to avoid any air pockets or bubble in the cake. Now I'm going to place my cake in the oven. My oven is preheated to 340 degree. We'll place the cake and allow it to bake for about one hour. And after baking for one hour, I remove my cake from the oven. Now what you want to do is insert a skewer in the middle of the cake to make sure that it's completely cooked. Once you insert the skewer and it comes out clean, you know that it's completely cooked. Now we're going to allow this to cool down and I'm going to come back and cut it to show you guys how it's looking on the inside. Now after my cake has cooled down, I went ahead and cut into it. I want you guys to see how amazing this is looking on the inside. Besides smelling so amazing, it looks amazing. It's very soft and spongy, really moist cake. It's everything you would want in a sorrel cake. I do hope you give this recipe a try. If you do, let me know. Leave me a comment and let me know how it came out for you. Now that brings us to the end of today's video. I do hope you enjoy watching this video as much as I enjoy making it for you all. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet subscribed for more delicious recipe. As usual I want to say thank you for watching, goodbye and I will see you in my next video.